This video is about binomial theorem, and we're going to take two days on this. Um, so this is just your introductory day of what is the binomial theorem and how do we use it. Okay, so when we raise binomials to a power, you've done this. For instance, if x plus 3 is raised to the first power, we know that it is just x plus 3. If x plus 3 is squared, we know it is x squared plus 6x plus 9, meaning you did FOIL or BOX. Okay, you did not just say x squared plus 9, that's not true. You have to do FOIL or BOX method to get this, right? And we could keep going, but what happens if it's up to the fifth power? Do we, what do we do? Okay, that's where binomial theorem comes in. How do you raise a binomial to a higher power? So, here's what binomial theorem says. So here's what binomial theorem says. Isn't that fantastic? It makes perfect sense. I know it does. But for real, for, in order to expand a binomial, which is what you're going to be working on, you're going to be needing to know what Pascal's triangle is. And this is what it is right here. All right? So the outer edges, notice they're all ones. Okay? So first step is a one, and the next level down is one and one. Then it, that one carries down. And for this one, the two it comes from this one and this one. One plus one is two. And this one goes straight down. So the ones continue down. For the next level, it's a one. From the next number in, it's going to be this one plus this two. That gives me a three. This two plus this one gives me a three. And this one gives me one. And you can see the pattern is going to continue. So one plus three gives me four. Three plus three gives me six. Three plus one is four. And then one on the outside. This thing can go on infinitely. All right, there's different levels. This is considered level zero, level one, level two, level three, level four. And the levels represent the power on the outside of the binomial. Like this is a three, then I would use level three. Okay, I'm going to show you how to use it. Now, Pascal's triangle does some combination computations for you that we have not covered, but this, this gets what you need. And you, I will have Pascal's triangle up for you all the time. You just have to know how to use it. So let me show you. Here's the process. Okay, determine A and B. Well, here's your exponent. Okay, I don't know. Here's your problem. A and B. A is the first term in the parentheses. B is the second term in the parentheses. It could be x's and y's. It could be actual numbers, but know what A and B is, or use Pascal's triangle to write out the expansion, and I'm about to show you what that means. Then you replace the actual values for A and B, which I'll show you, and then simplify. So there's four steps each time. So let's try one of these. Let me show you this pic picture first. Okay, so here's a simple expansion, what I mean by expansion. Look at this, just a sample, okay, if it's x plus y to the zero power. Well, that's always a one because Anything to the zero power is always one, right? So that's why I call it the zeroth row. The next row down is x plus one to the first power. Well, then your coefficients become one times x, one times y. The next one, x plus two, x plus y squared. Okay, so the coefficients are one, two, one. If you notice in Pascal's triangle, that's what it is: one, two, one. And look at your powers of x. Okay, x starts with x squared, then it's x to the first, and then there's no x over here, so that's like x to the zero power. Y's start with y to the zero power, y to the first, and then y squared. So the a counts down, b counts up, basically in the powers of the variable or whatever term it is. Square, or I'm sorry, cubed. Look, you're getting your coefficients from the next row down. One, three, three, one. One, three, three, one. And look at your power. X counts down, so it starts with the three. X to the third, x squared x to the first, x to the zero. y counts up, y to the zero, y to the first, y squared, y cubed. This one should be cubed. I don't know why that's wrong. All right, next row down. Look, the next coefficients, one, four, six, four, one. There's your coefficients, each term. And the powers, x will count down, so x to the fourth, x third, x squared, x to the one, x to the zero, so we don't write it y to the fourth, y to the zero, y to the first, y squared, y to the third, y to the fourth. And then it carries on. I didn't show you this fifth level or fifth row of um, Pascal's triangle, but it really goes on forever.
but if you needed it, there's your coefficients. All right, again, the steps are determine what is A and B in your equation. Write out the Pascal's triangle, using Pascal's triangle, write out the expansion like it is here, right here. Write out the expansion just like you see it up here. Then you replace the actual values for A and B and simplify, okay? I'm gonna show you an actual problem here. Okay, so we're gonna use a problem just using A's and B's to get comfortable with the expansion process, okay? <clears throat> so if it is a fifth power, I count down. Remember it goes zero, one, two, three, four, five. So this is the row of coefficients I'm going to need. And remember the A's are gonna count down, the B's will count up. So I'm gonna have one times A to the fifth, B to the zero, so I don't write it, plus the next coefficient is five, A to the fourth, B to the first, then plus 10, a to the third, b squared, plus 10 again, a squared going down, b to the third going up, plus 5, a, b to the fourth, plus 1, b to the fifth. Okay? And in this situation, we don't know what a and b is, so this is as far as I can expand it, so all of this would be my answer. Okay? Now, in the problems you're going to have today, you're going to have actual values for A and B, and you'll be squaring or cubing or whatever, multiplying it all out. But I wanted you to see how to write the expansion first, okay? Let's try one with numbers, all right? Okay, so here's A. Identify A and B. Here's B. Now, we're going to expand the problem with the proper level, okay? So count your levels. 0, 1, 2, 3, this is the level of coefficients I need. So I'm gonna write it out just with A's and B's first. One, A to the fourth, B to the zero, which is nothing, plus four, A to the third, B to the first, plus six, A squared, B squared, plus four again, A to the first, B to the third, plus one, B to the fourth. Now I have those expanded out. Now I'm going to replace A with two X and B with negative three. So in this first one, anything times one is itself. So it's going to be 2x raised to the fourth plus, okay? Four times, four, 2x to the third, all of it get raised to the third power, times negative three, plus six, 2x, squared times negative 3 squared plus 4 times 2x to the first power times negative 3 to the third power plus 1 times negative 3 to the fourth power. All right, so now we compute each term separately. All right, just take one at a time. 2 to the fourth is 16. x to the fourth is x to the fourth. Okay, that term is done. Here, I have to do the cubing first. So two cubed is eight. Eight times four is 32. 32 times negative three is negative 96. So I really have a minus here. Minus 96, okay, my x is cubed. Okay, so that term has simplified. Here I do exponents first. Two squared is four. Negative three squared is nine. So four times nine is 36 times 6 gives me a positive 216. Okay, my x, x is squared. All right, so let's look at our next term. Negative 3 cubed times 2 times 4 is a negative 216. But this time, x is to the first power. So these two are not exactly the same terms. And then the last term here, See that I've reduced these two. The last term is negative 3 raised to the fourth power, which is 81. So now I have simplified this binomial. I've expanded it and simplified it. Okay, I want you to try one here. Okay, x minus 2 to the fifth power. Remember to find the right level of the, the triangle. Use a's and b's. Write out your expansion. Replace a's and b's and then simplify. Okay? Try and we'll see you in class.